Hey everyone and welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session we're going to be talking about loudspeakers and microphones. So in today's lesson we're going to be talking about loudspeakers and microphones. Before we start make sure you've watched my other videos in the magnetism topic otherwise this lesson won't make sense. So follow the scheme of work and you'll be fine. So watch those videos before looking at this one. So let's get straight into it guys. Right so today's question is how do loudspeakers work? So how exactly do loudspeakers work? The best way to think about it is that your headphones, I know you all probably have headphones guys, headphones have speakers on them, but how do the speakers actually work? Right, so hopefully we have the idea that electrical energy goes into your headphones and sound energy comes out guys. So the headphones will be producing sound energy. But in terms of magnetism, how is it actually working? Well, look at the following diagram. We're going to try and explain it using this diagram here. So this is inside, this is a very basic diagram of a loudspeaker. This is a very basic diagram of a loudspeaker. As you can see here, we've got the speaker cone. Yeah, that's the bit that's going to pulse. Okay, that's the bit that's going to pulse out. And we have the bar magnet. We have a bar magnet there, north and south. So here is a permanent bar magnet, north and south, the horseshoe magnet. And we have the loudspeaker. The end of the loudspeaker, we wrap a coil around it. And as you can see, it's represented by the red wire. So the red wire is a coil wrapped around the loudspeaker. Okay, so first things first, let's draw the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. So there's a magnetic field going all the way from the north to the south here. Yes, magnetic fields flow from north to south. So the magnetic field is going from north to south in the permanent magnet. That's step number one. Right, so the first thing is this. We're going to pass current through that red coil. So we're going to pass current through the red coil. The question is, what is going to happen? So when current passes through the coil, the coil generates a magnetic field. So when current passes through that coil, it generates its own magnetic field. I'll draw it now using blue. So here we go. So we know that hopefully from my previous videos, we now have a magnetic field being created because of the coil. Yeah, so when you pass current through the coil, it generates its own magnetic field. But there's a problem now. You've got a magnetic field from the coil, but that is going to interact with that magnetic field from the permanent magnet. So the magnetic field from the coil, yes, the blue one, will interact with the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. So you've got two fields interacting now. What could that result in? So two fields interacting, that will cause the speaker cone to experience a force. So the speaker cone will experience a force. Okay guys, so the speaker cone will shoot out this way. Let's just say it moves out this way. There we go, so the force moves out this way. But then, you know every single speaker will have to you know, move in and out, guys. The speakers move in and out. How does it vibrate? How are we going to make it move back in? Well, it's something about the alternating voltage supply. Well, we know that when we reverse the current through the coil, the field will go in the opposite direction. So when we reverse the current in the coil, the field will swap direction. So let's do that quickly. Yep, so when we swap the direction of the current, the field will go in the opposite way now. Wonderful, so the field now goes in the opposite way. So which way will the speaker move? So logically, you put the current in one way, it moves out. You swap the direction of the current, it moves back in. So that's the reason why it gets to vibrate, because you keep on alternating the current going into it. So that's the reason why it vibrates, so then it moves back in afterwards. Okay, right, so when we reverse the current, the field swaps direction, therefore the force moves in the opposite way. So now look, by constantly changing the direction of the current, it changes the direction of the magnetic field, therefore it causes the force to move in the opposite way. Yeah, so when the direction of the current in the coil is reversed, the speaker moves in the opposite direction. So the speaker moves in the opposite direction. So that's the reason why it can move out, and move back in. All right, so let's highlight some key terms in case you're doing this in the exam. When current passes through the coil, the coil generates a magnetic field. The magnetic field from the coil will interact with magnetic field from the permanent magnet. This causes the speaker cone to experience a force. When the direction of the current in the coil is reversed, the speaker moves in the opposite direction. Okay with this? Yeah, let's so make sure you understand all these key points. Make sure you can look at the diagram and you can describe it without any help. Right, so let's move on to microphones. So how do microphones work? It's similar, but kind of different. Right, so how do microphones work? They look the same, but they are different, guys. So it looks the same at the start. We can see that there is a bar magnet, a permanent bar magnet right now. 
And look, we can let's draw those field lines there going from north to south. Very, very nice. But, and we have a coil over here. But the main difference between a microphone and a loudspeaker is that for a microphone, sound energy is converted into electrical energy. So sound energy is converted into electrical energy. Right, let's do this then. Right, so what's going to happen is the air is going to be pushed into it. So when sound is created, let's say a couple of waves come in. So they're moving this way. So yeah, so those waves are coming in, guys. Those waves are coming in. What's going to happen is they are going to push that coil within the magnetic field. They're going to push that coil within the magnetic field. So the sound waves have now pushed that coil within the magnetic field. Right, but what is that coil going to experience now? The coil was happy as it is. Now you've pushed it into a magnetic field. It will experience a changing magnetic field. So the coil now experiences a changing magnetic field. Right, so now the coil experiences a changing magnetic field, therefore a voltage is induced. Yeah, so a voltage is induced due to the generator effect. So now you push the coil into the magnetic field, it experiences a changing magnetic field, therefore a voltage is now induced. So therefore, guys, the voltage is then coming out now, and it goes, you know, maybe this way over here. Then we will take this signal, and obviously this will be now converted into electrical signal. This will be converted into an electrical signal right so as you can see that voltage now can be transported elsewhere and converted into an electrical signal and that's how guys sound comes in an electrical signal comes out right and that's how microphones work guys so quick recap on the top on both of them so number one we have the loudspeaker so loudspeakers are going to be the following so uh, you pass current into the coil the coil creates its own magnetic field which interacts with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. This causes a force to be experienced. Then when we swap the direction of the current through the coil, it will then experience the force in the opposite direction, therefore causing it to oscillate. And that's how a loudspeaker works. The microphone looks the same, but it's different. As you can see now, the sound waves are coming into it. The sound waves go in, they push the coil into the magnetic field. The coil experiences a changing magnetic field and therefore a voltage is induced. A voltage is induced and now you have converted the sound waves into electrical signals. And that's it for another session in Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. If you didn't understand anything, make sure you comment below and or maybe I can try and solve the problem. If not, we'll see you soon. Make sure you like, subscribe and good luck revising. Ciao, ciao, goodbye.